Welcome, and in today's video tutorial, we will be taking a look at operating in two window mode versus operating in one window mode. Note that uh, this applies to Drop Image Advanced. I am currently using version 2.7, but this principle applies to prior versions as well. By default, Drop Image Advanced uses two windows. The window to the right is the live video, which updates real time. I'm passing my hand in front of the video camera to show it update, whereas the video window on the left is a static video window. In order to capture a picture from the live video, I can either hit Control T on the keyboard, or I can come up to the toolbar and click on the camera icon for Take a Picture. This takes a picture from the camera from the live video, transfers it to the static image window. Note that when we take measurements, even when we do so quickly, we're taking measurements on a per frame basis, not on live video. Some people prefer to operate in a single window mode, and I'm going to show you how to do that. In order to switch from two windows to one window, go to the pull down menu under View and click on Stop Pass Through. This closes out the live video window, and now when I go back to View, I can change the pass through setting to the main window by choosing Pass Through and Main Window. Now when I click on View Start Pass Through, my live video is in the main window. And I can in fact take measurements in the in this window. So it's a preference. You can choose whether to operate in a single window mode or in a two window mode. However, for most experiments that are done at high speed or dynamically, you will find that the, the software will operate uh, faster in two window mode and it's also useful uh, as, a, as a user to be able to see what's happening dynamically in the live video window. In order to restore the, the separate window I'm going to go back to the pull down menu under view and first stop my pass through in the main window. Now I'm going to click on view pass through in separate window in order to toggle to that two window mode and then finally I'm going to start the pass through by clicking on view start pass through. This restores my live video window over to the right which can be resized as needed. If you prefer to work in two window mode you may choose to go to the uh, edit options menu and set the default setting so at startup pass through is automatically turned on. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and we appreciate your business. Please visit our website at RamyHart.com.